Hey everyone, so uh, Chris Russell here from uh, Job Board Secrets, and I've got uh, doing a video today on uh, Job Board software demos. And today we're talking to uh, Job Mount, and uh, we've got Andrew dialed up here from uh, Ukraine, where he's based, is where the uh, company is based, and he's going to kind of uh, give us a sense of the product today, do a quick demo, ask him some questions along the way. And get you a feel for what Job Mount does and what it looks like overall. So, Andrew, it's good to uh, good to meet you finally over video. Um, how long have you been working uh, for for Job Mount here? From the very beginning, and even before Aspen Tech Labs uh, appeared. So it's already eleven years as Aspen Tech, and it was another company before doing job boards as well. Yeah, so the company actually is called Aspen Technology. You do uh, job mount, you do uh, career site cloud, you do web spider mount. Right. Uh, anything else I missed there? Uh, those are main uh, three products. And uh, based on the, uh, this tool set, we have a couple of uh, combinations of those, like related to, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, job searches, uh, data management, synchronization, stuff like that. Gotcha. All right. All right, cool. Well, um, so what's new with uh, just job mount overall? Do you have any new features of functionality out there? What's uh, What's been happening lately with uh, the product? Mm -hmm. uh, so um, basically it's uh, continuously updated uh, on our end and we have a uh, main uh, product branch with new features um, rollout to our existing clients, including uh, updates in uh, both uh, front end. For example, for employers, we recently uh, released new uh, jobs manager section, which is like easier to use. It's uh, a nicely looking and shows additional data there. Uh, earlier, we updated mm -hmm. search engine, uh, like that's continuous progress. And uh, the thing <laughs> we miss is that uh, we don't really um, push our news. We uh, we actually are proud of that, but we don't speak about that a lot, like lack of time. <laughs> but we yeah. are happy to share when yep. our people ask. Yep. Um, how many clients are now on job mount? Give us a sense of how big you guys are. It's like uh, from 50 to 100, something about that. Okay. That's um, live job boards. Live job boards, okay. Yeah. Um, and you have both a hosted product and a self-install license you can you can buy, right? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, most actually host it on our server. But um, if some people want, they can host it on their server. Uh, they need to purchase license then. Yep. Uh, but um, mostly it depends on, I don't know, security uh, rules people have in their companies. Yeah. Is that a PHP-based uh, platform with the technology behind that? Uh, no, it's uh, a Java enterprise Java. and uh, Postgre database and um, a couple of other like backend technology we have um, described. Whoever wants to run in, on their server, we have a um, description of what kind of server is needed there. Of course, it's more expensive to run it on a separate server because we do it on a shared environment. Yep. And uh, it's more cost effective to run with us. Yep. And just what what are the uh, break down the pricing for us briefly? What are the basic packages for the hosted solutions? Uh, it's um, install currently is uh, four thousand nine hundred fifty. That includes uh, full like admin configurations as well as um, customizations of um, look and feel. I'll show a bit later what kind of customizations uh, possible there. And uh, that's standard mm -hmm. uh, setup. Uh, if there are like custom um, custom design option or custom features needed, then it's estimated based on re actual requirements. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I want you to share your screen here, and um, what I like to do first is just take a couple of look a couple of look at uh, sites that you guys power now. Maybe show us a few examples, and then go into the product itself and, and give us more of a demo. Sure. So, are you seeing my screen now? Yep. Okay, great. So uh, I'm actually uh, looking at the pricing page now. So uh, it's all listed there, so we don't hide it. So whoever interested can take a look there. But um, I would like to start probably with um, our uh, client section. And that's uh, quite easy to um, describe what kind of customizations options we have. So basically there are three levels. First one is standard template, and that's a responsive template where you can uh, upload the logo, image, or change color scheme, and you get kind of uh, mm -hmm. customized design. And that's very easy to set up, let's say, in a matter of um, a minutes, uh, a couple of minutes needed to, to uh, mm -hmm. set it up, and then we can launch it tomorrow, for example. Um, 
of course there are some kind of uh, additional information needed company name uh, job fields listings for example if you have like specific categories or something like that um, that that can be also easily uh, updated but uh, most popular one is this modified template theme and if you take a look there it's also a responsive design but it looks pretty different from the standard one already so if i open a demo website you can see there how the design itself looks and uh, based on this responsive theme uh, we can create kind of uh, modified uh, theme that's included into standard uh, setup cost and uh, within those slight modifications we can get pretty um, interesting and customized designs so a couple examples are listed there yeah i see and, you power uh, minnesotajobs.com it's a pretty big uh, niche site um, yep. and uh, bubble jobs i've heard of that one as well yeah, that's uh, by the way. Minnesota Jobs is one of examples of our like a combination of uh, products. So they run a primary job board and a couple of satellite sites based on uh, other carrier site cloud product, which is like um, easy to set up, easy mm -hmm. to maintain, and support uh, let's say 10, 50 sites. Yeah. Hey, but uh, let me let me stop it there for one second. By the way, uh, mm -hmm. I wrote a post recently about Google for Jobs, and. Um, uh, just it seems like that uh, the traffic from that platform has kind of plateaued a bit. What are you guys seeing with your client base from coming from Google for Jobs? Is it has it been steady? Is it declining? Is it going up? Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, um, we are monitoring um, traffic from Google for Jobs, and uh, from what we see, it's uh, uh, quite an interesting question because um, they actually definitely do something uh, all the time there and because uh, for some uh, clients who actually w uh, do like proactive um, work with Google for Jobs, meaning that, for example, um, using uh, Google um, search API where they proactively can submit new jobs or um, remove <coughs> deleted jobs. So some clients using that actively and others don't do it, uh, that at all. And we see spikes uh, and changes between those two. So for example, the same um, day, um, both sites got huge uh, spike, like huge increase in number of impressions and, uh, the, uh, of course, clicks. Uh, the other day, a uh, specific job was showing up uh, with only one apply button, and next day it shows six apply buttons, including buttons from our clients. Really? Yeah. They seem to be having a problem with some of the, the duplication efforts or just finding the. You know, I've seen examples where you. Some jobs are on the, from a job board or, you know, on Google for jobs, some aren't. And so why is that? It's, it seems like they're having a trouble with just fully indexing everything. Yeah, we actually had a um, recently presentation about Google for jobs specifically on uh, JobGate Summit in London just a couple of weeks ago. And we tried to cover this topic um, as much as we can. So of course it's uh, like a guessing game and um, what we currently guess is that a couple of um, ranking factors involved there, starting from uh, like duplicate content. So if job is like cross-posted to so many different sites, uh, it's harder to get with your like authentic uh, job board there. Uh, even impossible if it's on another ten or twenty sites. Forget about having the play button. Yeah. And uh, um, the other one is. Um, um, rank of the website itself. So it's hard to compete with uh, uh, giants like Glassdoor, for example. Uh, or... So it seems like the overall SEO ranking of a site um, is also one of the factors in there. So yeah, they like indeed Glassdoor. And that's yeah. my theory too, is that the bigger, those bigger sites are getting the, the lion's share of those, those clicks anyway, because there's just, they're so big, yeah. right? And they've yeah. got so many jobs as well. Yeah, and if in case of regular SEO, you can get get to uh, position number 10 or, or 12, right? Of course, uh, visibility is uh, lower, but in case of Google for Jobs, you have to be in top six. It's just six buttons, not more. Yeah. But the good thing is that it's ranked uh, for each job individually. So, for example, if you have 1,000 jobs, then for 200 of those, you can be there. For other 800, uh, it will not show up there, it, and it's... Um, um, if you get those uh, jobs sooner, then we think that chances to show up as a play button are also higher. Yeah. So speed speed of that is important too. Gotcha. All right, let's get back to the uh, the, the demo here. 
Sure. Yeah. So uh, going back to the third one is full custom option, and uh, that's where uh, actually um, fully customized boards and uh, uh, with their like designs, custom features, etc. Um, that's this section, and it takes. Uh, couple of months usually and uh, most of the time is back and forth like finalizing some things polishing some things you know so uh, depending on the op uh, on uh, the option selected it can be a couple of days couple of weeks couple of months <laughs> yeah do you have uh, multiple languages too uh, it can be translated to other language and we have different languages, but one language. So default is English um, others can be um, translated. Gotcha. So it cannot be English and French, for example, at once. It can be one or another. Okay. All right. Um, I'd like to see the back end, if we could, in terms of how you of manage course. the site. Um, yep. I've actually of never course. seen job mounts admin, so this will be uh, <laughs> new to me too. Yeah, um, it's easy to see because it's just uh, one click from our demo page. Oh, okay. So uh, we run those demos both for like front end, where you can see it as a candidate, then as employer, and as admin too, so uh, all is there. And it's uh, like, you don't ask for registration or anything, just take a look. Uh, one note, it's been refreshed every couple of hours. So if you change something, it might be lost in um, one or two hours. So yeah, that's that's where we start uh, our dashboard. So we show a couple of stats there, um, including like performance, some sales stats, uh, jobs by like <clears throat> category or location so that's where we start and uh, um it just walk us through each of the uh, uh the kind of the items on the left there um mm -hmm. briefly what uh, what each of them do yeah sure so uh one quick note though to, to start there are quite a lot of settings we provide uh, all accessibility to uh, uh, our uh, clients so they have uh, all the tools all the settings and this uh, could be little bit complex for uh, some people to get familiar with all that stuff but uh, every client has account manager who helps doing uh, the setup so don't be afraid of that because uh, we will uh, set it up and then teach whatever is interesting and needed for like running the job board itself so let's start probably from employers mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what's interesting there, you can see like registrations, etc. And uh, what's interesting is that you can export data or import uh, employers when you, uh, for example, ch change your software to Jamon software. So you can do it through admin. And uh, in the same area, you can uh, integrate it with like uh, this job wrapping service and see stats of uh, scrapes that are running. Okay. So that's um, for employers. <clears throat> um, then it, yeah, adding a scrape, could you just walk us through that? Uh, adding a scrape yeah yeah uh, so uh, in this system when it's integrated with uh, job wrapping service uh, adding a scrape will ask a couple of questions and it will show up for our support uh, people to uh, set it up and then run the configuration uh, set deadlines etc in uh, in a separate dashboard but once it's configured mm -hmm. it will show up as um, live scraping status mm -hmm like this one that's a demo so a couple of those uh, with latest update and the uh, possibility to refresh if uh, manual restart is needed there is also like daily or, or real-time option great and uh, for example if that's uh, um, activated for specific employer then let's say graphic packaging can see a similar but short form on on their uh, jobs manager let's let's try and see that by the way we'll see new jobs manager as well maybe this one yeah so um, that's jobs manager and that's status of their specific scrapes so they don't see other scrapes running uh -huh. for other clients but they can see there and uh, update if they want to okay. and then job statuses um, views and applications for their jobs etc you know a couple of actions available there so then um, same for like jobs mm -hmm. and uh, candidates with their resumes uh, looks very similar also like import export options um, here you can actually 
uh, manage advertising and banners on the website, meaning like turn on featured employers, add banner spaces. There are a couple of different uh, banner slots. Um, additional reports. So there are something like 30, 31 different reports and custom reports can be added to. Um, then content management section. So um, a lot of uh, clients actually want to have like, I don't know, WordPress blog to, to post yeah. uh, articles. Uh, others don't and uh, it's enough just to have, for example, about us page, maybe something about their like office life, I don't know. So um, that's a part of the system. So you can have like, well, usual what you see is what you get area where you can add pages, you can link them in menus, stuff like that, or upload images um, for those pages, maybe PDF files. Uh, stuff like that. And uh, then <clears throat> what's interesting is that tools, because uh, it lets you handle uh, both, let's say, uh, incoming and uh, outgoing jobs. So for incoming uh, feeds, you can either um, provide API like posting interface to, to get jobs posted to job board, um, can import uh, via CSV file. And uh, then once again, job scraping did the same. And is there, uh, for, um, is there any kind of built-in integrations with like you know ZipRecruiter backfill or you know? Uh, yep. Like that? Yep. Uh, let me show you a couple of those. So that's what we have by mm. default. Um, indeed, then ZipRecruiter and jobs to carriers. Mm, okay. And a couple of their settings. So that's for for dynamic um, jobs backfill, and uh, um, yeah, that's actually should be a part of inbound feeds. Interesting note. <laughs> <laughs> More work for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and for outbound feeds, we have um, similar situation that a couple of preset XML outbound feeds are already created there. And uh, if needed, more can be added. And when you want another feed created for any one of your new partners, um, you can specify XML uh, structure there and uh, um, you can um, add their specific criteria. For example, just one category or just featured jobs, things like that, that's configurable. Yeah, okay. Um, let me see the product area if we could, uh... Um, mm -hmm. A couple of questions around that. So number one is, um, can you charge job seekers for things like feature resume, stuff like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, so let me show you that in uh, payments. So we have employers and candidates uh, packages. Um, so mostly people use just for like uh, job posting or employer posting, um, but we have candidate packages too, if somebody wants. And you can, so like you can feature that resume. Can you charge for access to the Canada database, things like that as well? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you um, take a look at the standard set of jobs, there are like usual single job postings, uh, upgrades for jobs, and then access to uh, resume database. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. There are a couple of upgrades like featured mm -hmm. jobs, spotlight jobs, things like that. Yeah. What do, when you um, get inquiries from just people looking to start a job board, what are some of the uh, kind of frequently asked questions they ask you guys about features? Uh, does um, anything mm -hmm. come to mind there? Uh, probably one of the most common one, ones is that um, can we add a specific field to, let's say, job posting form or registration form? Yep. And uh, that's uh, covered with our software because um, all, all forms are actually configurable. So if you need uh, to add, for example, a uh, street address field, it's just a matter of a couple of clicks there. And uh, then we can specify whether it's optional field, uh, where it should show up, should we use it for, I don't know, uh, map address calculating, stuff like that. Gotcha. So that's a yeah. very common question. And of course, uh, uh, job boards are not uh, isolated. So uh, second most uh, important one is um, about like incoming and outgoing uh, data management, jobs management, yeah. yeah. Cool, okay. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm assuming you, uh, you can use Stripe and, and a number of different gateways for the uh, processing. Yeah, yeah, right. So let me show you what we have there. Um, 
some images gone and not all of them are there probably that stripe because we recently added that and uh, one of the uh, recent upgrades is uh, uh, like stripe and moneris uh, payment system integrations moneris is in canada yep gotcha okay and yeah what's the default ones what's on the SEO right. tab there sorry uh go to the seo tab with, uh, take a mm -hmm. quick tour of that yeah, so for SEO, probably I'll better show it on the front end because um, we have a couple of settings for this. Uh, we can start with uh, one level of landing pages. So let's say that's uh, engineering category or industry. Uh, and then you can go to uh, more detailed uh, to two level pages like uh, job title in city, for example, or in this case, it's industry in state. And that's configurable in, in, in that uh, admin area. Um, we also help setting this up. There is also like content section. You can add specific description, for example, for engineering jobs on this website, right? So that's kind of uh, uh, in, uh, SEO fine tuning and you can specify like meta tags. It's either automatic. So you see it's uh, pre-filled there, but if you want to fine tune it with some specific keywords, it's uh, possible. Uh, so kind of many configuration options. And uh, uh, once again, our account managers help with this because it's, it's kind of complicated. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what's um? What do you think is the more you know? What if you if I ask you what makes you unique versus other job board software? What would you say? <laughs> um, I would probably say that um, the openness we provide, because uh, what people are excited about is that um, all configuration settings, uh, all exports, imports, reports, uh, everything is transparent. We show it there. Um, and that's what, uh, what they like. You know, if you get uh, start with something for X amount of money and then being charged for every question or a call, um, it's not that convenient. So probably I would say we are like uh, uh, all, all inclusive job board. We have everything available out of this, out of the box. Yep, gotcha. So it's it's uh, and, and again it, the pricing is uh, three twenty five a month plus the forty nine fifty setup fee. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Anything else you want to show us before we uh, close up? Um, so let me think. I would probably show you our blog where you can follow um, updates that we have. So for example, we added a couple of articles recently about like uh, uh, the, the GIPS manager itself. We also try to provide some tips and insights there. Um, and um, th that's what will also improve in, in the future. We will provide more information. For example, there are no updates about job search or uh, uh, not really much about Google for jobs integration, which is available out of the box. So schema and everything is uh, included for for all jobs yeah um stuff like that yeah yeah so uh andrew you've been this you know you've been in the job or business for a long time now um what do you uh you've seen a lot of change happening what do you think is uh you know the future going to be here in five years uh where is this type of software going to be in terms of a feature set and what do you think is going to happen to the overall you know job board industry Good question. Yeah, because um, I, I have kind of um, a fear of Google for jobs for uh, job boards because in, initially I thought that they might take quite a lot of uh, space uh, there, but now seems like uh, it's not the case anymore. And we've seen even kind of um, question raised by Jeff, uh, who's a job board doctor recently about like, uh, do people afraid of uh, Google for Jobs uh, service or not? So uh, that decreases. And I think the reason is that because um, Google for Jobs will not provide um, so detailed information or so fine-tuned service as uh, job boards will. So frankly speaking, I, I'm, I'm not afraid of Google for Jobs anymore in this case. Um, but uh, I think it will definitely grow. And uh, it's important to keep those systems working together. So um, it's uh, quite a significant uh, 
way to get traffic from from candidates and uh, of course like getting better candidates uh, means getting better employers who post jobs then um, so that's one thing uh, another is uh, probably um, uh, programmatic advertisement of uh, uh, jobs that will show up or not show up depending on their performance and on, on, in different places yeah. and uh, um, the, the third one is that uh, like uh, machine learning and automatic management between skill sets and maybe it will make it easier to um, not to specify by keywords but maybe say okay find something that is interesting to me and that's interesting based on uh, lots of things for example likes in social networks maybe or linkedin uh, or full resume profile so let's say mm. new types of matching that, yeah. that's how i see it all right i got two more questions for you and then we can wrap up so um uh, one is uh what feature are you most excited about that you really want to add to the platform at some point <laughs> to um, to our job board platform yeah um i would say i would make it easier for uh, candidates to apply meaning that currently uh, you have to create profile upload resume uh, and then like either being redirected to a third party and then do it the same once again so that's something that i would really want to solve for for candidates somehow so there are different ways doing this but it's still open question yeah the <clears throat> the apply process still needs a lot of work out there overall but, uh, yeah and, and some say it's easy uh, enough <clears throat> just to ask for email or phone number right and others ask to fill in like 10 pages of forms so that's that's probably yeah, I think we're going to the to a place where uh, all we're going to collect is name, phone, email, maybe a couple of other you know fields there, and then you can get this, the, the resume later on, I guess, uh, overall. But uh, good stuff. And yeah. uh, last question for Andrew: um, What's one piece of advice you want to give out there to uh, to new job board owners or anybody thinking about starting a job board today about uh, how they can be successful? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, actually, um, you know, uh, Kaizen methodology as an approach to uh, doing stuff whatever either it's like home uh, home tasks or business or job board anything so it's uh, like continuous improvement of uh, processes of uh, different areas so um, I would say like uh, don't 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 hesitate to start don't uh, don't uh, stop improving so whenever something is running, it needs attention, it needs perfection, and then it brings uh, results eventually. Awesome. Well, Andrew, appreciate the uh, the time today. Thanks for the uh, the tour of uh, Job Mount. It's at jobboardmount.com if you want to go check it out. Uh, they are one of my advertisers, so show them some love and uh, uh, definitely uh, give them a ring there. So, um, okay, Andrew, well, uh, again, appreciate your time. And uh, what do you got going on today? You got a busy day? Yeah, I have one more meeting soon, and uh, hopefully I'll start working with my emails shortly because all day in meetings. <laughs> all right, we'll tell, tell Mike where I said hello, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for the invitation and the ability to present. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Yep. See you. Bye-bye.